So one of these pictures was shot on a Redmi Note 6 Pro and the other was shot on a OnePlus 6T. Can you guess which phone shot A and which one shot B? You can, but then you can only guess. Not everyone can be 100% sure. But how about this comparison? Once again, one picture was shot using a 6T and the other was shot using a Note 6 Pro. You can figure out quite easily, right? So yeah, that's my whole point. Smartphone cameras have come a long way that in good lighting conditions, even a 14,000 rupee phone can shoot great pictures comparable to pictures coming out of a 38,000 rupee smartphone. There are differences, don't get me wrong, but they're not very obvious because the differences aren't really huge. But in case of low light photography, the differences are quite obvious. More often than not, the more expensive phone clicks brighter pictures with less noise and better colors. So with smartphones, low light photography is one of the few areas where there's a lot of room for improvement. And Google has managed to fill that void with an astounding feature called Night Sight. The best thing is it's a software trick, so it doesn't need high-end hardware. The, I installed the Google camera app on my OnePlus 60 and Night Sight works wonders for me. Here's a comparison of a regular shot and a Night Sight shot. Amazing, right? So in this video, let's take a look at how exactly the feature works. Before we get into it, let me quickly introduce myself. I'm Sundar, this is Technology Jock. Subscribe to the channel if and hit the bell icon if you like what you're watching. So the first thing the app does is capture 6 to 15 photos when you hit the shutter button. If the app detects that the phone is handheld or that the objects in the scene are moving, then it captures 15 photos each at a shutter speed of 1 by 15 or less. If there is no big activity in the scene and if the phone is perfectly still, then it captures 6 images each at a shutter speed of 1 second. Now wait, if you don't clearly understand terms like shutter speed, aperture and so on, if you are curious to know then click here and head over to that video. I have clearly explained all the basic terms related to camera and photography. All in very simple terms, even a layman can understand everything. So, Moving on, step number two is aligning those multiple images. So if you noticed, clicking a night side picture will take about five or six seconds. And no matter what, you cannot hold the phone for six seconds without even a slight movement or a slight shake. So obviously, all those images won't be exactly the same. There will be minor differences at the edges of the frame. There will be a minute difference. So the algorithm scans every single element of one image and places them exactly on top of the same elements of another image and so on. It makes sure all the images are aligned accurately. So say there are 10 images one on top of another, you remove the first image, then this will be exactly the same thing. Step number three, all the images are merged to form a single picture. This is where most of the noise is eliminated. When there are multiple frames of the same scene with different noise patterns, the noise can be removed. In fact, you know what, about two months back, I made a video uh, on how to capture amazing low light images on any phone, including budget phone, trust me. I use the same technique there. Here's a link to that video. Watch it if you're interested. It would be useful uh, for you if you have a budget phone. Now, phones like the Mate 20 Pro and the OnePlus 60 also have their own night modes. They work reasonably well, but the colors are a bit too dull. Both these pictures were shot on the OnePlus 60 the left hand side picture was shot using OnePlus's night mode and the other was shot using Google Camera's night sight. You can see the difference, right? The trees are represented better by Google Camera's night sight. Uh, the reason for this brings us to step number four. Google uses machine learning to figure out what's present in the image, predicts its color and enhances it. I don't want to blindly say artificial intelligence or machine learning. It's actually called fast Fourier color constancy algorithm. I'll leave a link in the description for more info on that. In a nutshell, the system has been trained on millions of images, just like Google's portrait mode algorithm. So the system detects all the major objects in the scene and enhances their colors so that the end result will have accurate representation of colors. So the process is almost over here. There's just one more thing it does, one final step. Sometimes when night sight is used in moderately lit conditions, like say it's night time, but there are a lot of lights around you and the place is reasonably lit, night sight mode might tend to make the picture look like it's shot during daytime. 
day time as in not literally uh, but say evening time especially in major cities since there are so many lights they tend to lighten up the sky it's called light pollution light pollution is the reason why we are not able to see many stars uh, if you're away from a city like 50 or 100 kilometers away the sky looks so damn gorgeous with millions of stars to gaze at because in those places there aren't many lights as a result of which there is no light pollution hit the subscribe button if this is something you learned from this video anyway so due to light pollution using any night mode might render a picture which might look like it's shot during daytime evening time but google's night sight aims to solve it in this final step it determines the ideal light to dark tone mapping and makes sure the final picture represents how the scene actually looks theoretically this is what happens under the hood but practically there are a few flaws like uh, when there is a harsh light source in the frame night sight tends to overexpose the region whereas in the regular shooting mode it's not overexposed google's hdr mode takes care of exposing everything perfectly but let's not forget that this crazy feature is something we didn't even imagine getting so we need to forgive those uh, few small flaws minor flaws like there wasn't even any rumor or leak about night sight we thought we knew everything about the pixel 3 before the launch but turned out google had somehow managed to keep the biggest feature under wraps so that's it if you feel this video was informative helpful uh, hit the thumbs up button and if you want to see more content like this subscribe to technology jock and hit the bell icon as well thank you so much for watching this is sundar leaving for the moment see you in my next video bye have a great day